Well, 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 here we are again. Hi, YouTubes. I have not been on YouTube in a while, and uh, I apologize for that, but there are reasons. So let's get into some real talk for a bit. I'm using a new mic. Let's hope it's working. I don't know. I'm also using a new vlogging camera, which is one of the many reasons I have not been on YouTube in so long. My old vlogging camera broke on a trip to Disney, so that was that, but this camera seems really good. So I hope it's good, it should be stable, but let's get into some real talk business. When I started YouTube, it was a passion for me. It was a hobby. It had nothing to do with my line of work. It had nothing to do with how many views I was getting and blah, blah, blah. It was just a passion for me to share the information that I had on all things, health, wellness, weight loss, mental, emotional health, manifestation, law of attraction, all of that stuff. And the lines started to get blurred. Hi Zoe, she thinks I'm talking to her. It started to get into what do the viewers wanna see and what are people that watch my channel really wanting to see and how can I do more of that? And then be careful if you're on YouTube when you watch YouTube, because then in my 40s, here in my 40s, I'm watching all these 20 somethings and they're amazing intros and they're amazing quality thinking, Oh gosh, I can't do this anymore. Like I'm not as good as them at editing, at making really awesome transitions and blah, 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 blah. Then I might not pick up my camera during an amazing psilocybin experience I had with a shaman in Toronto once or the three Joe Dispenza retreats I went to, traveling around Florida in the winter and then traveling all across the US really over the past couple of years, moving all of these amazing things that have happened and as each event passed that I did not vlog. I thought, oh my gosh, I, I just never ended up picking up the camera. And I've gone through a lot of changes mentally and emotionally myself over the past two years. And so I wanted to come on and tell you about the direction of this channel, what's been going on with me. Um, I have been completely active over on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So you can go to at Kick It With Kelly. This is the page you'll look for if you want to see my stuff, but I've been active over there and I really, really missed vlogging. And I just really wanted to come back and start vlogging and making it about my passion again. I don't want to make it about how many views it's getting. I just want to make it about what it once was at the beginning. For now, I will tell you some stories and take you through what's happening in my life. And I want to know what's happening in yours too. Reach out, comment below, let me know what you've been up to. Um, but last time I saw you all, I was uh, just telling you about how I met my soulmate and I took off to Mexico with him and we ended up moving in together and it was glorious. And I took you on a tour of that house and here we are in yet a different house. That place just wasn't really hitting it. It was a neighborhood of all young families, which is great. We don't really want kids of our own. And it was new builds, very small lots. And I kept daydreaming of, you know what? I want a house that has a huge property big yard, lots of trees. I want an old home. I like old homes with character. I wanted it to still be in the city that I love, that I grew up in, where I am right now. And all of these certain specific parameters. And I talk a lot about the reality of manifestation and law of attraction. I didn't talk about that as much before as I will now that I've been really grabbing it by the horns over the last couple of years. But manifestation, there are people out there with vision boards and saying positive affirmations and that's great, that's fun. But I come at it from quantum physics, from the law of frequency, from all of the science-backed aspects. Listen to this story of what this house is and I'll take you on a little tour, but I decided, we decided to rent a home. And it was a little beach house and it was perfect. Thought it was perfect, right? It was everything that I thought that I wanted. Sure, not everything. It was most of what I thought I wanted. And we paid first and last month's rent and the key deposit and move-in day came. The landlord took off with all the money and the key and the house. And so there we were with our stuff and no place to really live. And how quickly your brain can go to the places of, well, if we find something now, it's not gonna be exactly what we want. It's probably gonna be too expensive. It probably won't be in the same area that we really wanna be in, yada, 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 right? And instead I used my favorite three steps that I teach to my clients. But number one, what is every single thing I can be grateful for for what I have right now? 
Number two, what is every single thing that I can do with what I have right now? And number three, get myself into a state of positive expectation of what's to come. And so number one, everything I could be grateful for. Well, at least it's not raining. I know I'm not gonna be totally homeless because I have family that will help me out. And there could be a really good reason this happened. I can't wait to see what shows up. We can never predict what's gonna show up if we're using the law of frequency, right? Well, it's really using us, but if we're aligning ourselves with it, we'll never be able to predict it. So I can't wait to see what happens, whatever. Number two, do everything you can with what you have. So we're looking for new places. Meanwhile, my fiance Darren had messaged somebody about this house that I'm now sitting in, and it didn't seem like it was going to line up. It seemed just out of reach, right? And so the landlord calls him, I wasn't even in the car, and the landlord's talking to him, and then his assistant pipes up from the background, this female voice, and she says, Darren, I'm on your Facebook, right? If you're gonna rent a house, you're gonna check to see if the person's, you know, a creep or whatnot. <laughs> Darren, I'm on your Facebook. Are you engaged to Kelly Duffin? And he says, yes. And she said, oh my gosh, I love Kelly. I worked with her a couple of years ago. I will make sure that you get this place. And so they let us move in early. We had the place by the very next day and here we are. And so just to give you an idea, when I said I wanted a bigger yard, has quite, quite a lot of property going on. It is in the city that I wanted it to be in. This is the Zen room. That is the cat's outside play place. That's a hot tub area out there. It's not set up because the weather was really bad. But yeah, I meditate in here. If you're not familiar with Joe Dispenza, I follow his work a lot. I've been to three retreats now and they are, they are life altering retreats and I 10 out of 10 recommend you check it out. That's a meditation mat. This is a new one. Six inches of amazing memory foam. And then we come into the kitchen. The kitchen, I wanted a bigger kitchen, something that was brightly lit, had nice big windows. So here we are. And it was just stark white. There was no color going on here whatsoever. So we decided let's make it teal. I found these backsplash. They're just peel and sticks from Amazon. Super inexpensive. They look great. And Darren was down in the basement and all of the paint down there was paint that was around, right, on the house. Um, different neutral colors of the rooms and there was one very random, oddly placed can of teal paint. And so <laughs> it all comes together, right? Somehow, some way, in a way that you'll never predict. So this is the kitchen. And then we go into the dining room. I have become recently, and I mean recently in the past couple of years, a plant aficionado. We're getting married at the end of September. This is all wedding stuff, but plants. And you know, that tree, I don't know if you're into plants or whatnot. If you have a fiddle leaf fig, comment below and let me know because those are particular. More plants, this is the living room. Way too many plants, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, it's like purses. I don't collect those anymore, apparently just plant life. But I do really cool experiments with plant life too, um, in terms of frequency, vibration, sound, really awesome stuff. If you wanna know anything about that, let me know, comment below, and then we'll go upstairs. And another reason I wasn't really going on YouTube much is like, oh my gosh, did I completely deep clean the house from top to bottom before I vlog? That's not happening. Did I do my eyebrows? Well, I can't go if my hair's just air dried. I can't go on YouTube if I don't have a full face of makeup. That's not happening anymore. I really want to keep it real life and true to life. This is the master bedroom. And so that's going to be the theme of this channel. I will still give you all of my best, best information and so much more retro, amazing. So much more that I've learned over the past little while. I cannot wait to share it all with you. This is Darren's office. I'll just have a quick pan of it up. Because he's not here and that might not be fair. And this is my little room. It's all wedding junk, wedding dress. Can't show you it because you might see this. All wedding stuff there. This is just where I do my makeup. I go live there a lot. Anywho, let's go downstairs. So if there's anything that you're wanting to know about, I do talk about holistic health. So how the entire human body functions together as one interconnected unit with everything in the body affecting everything else. There has been a lot of experience. Oh my gosh, I just, 
I just really wanted to come back and touch base with you and I always promise to be more regular every time I come on because I really wanted to be but I had all of these things that were blocking me and those are just not invited into my life or my psyche anymore. So lately I've been doing a lot of work with subconscious reprogramming. I can't wait to share all of that with you. So hi, welcome to the channel if you're new. My gosh, you're probably like, what the heck is going on? But welcome if you've been here before. Thank you so much for watching and for coming back. If you thought this video was cool at all, just put a like, but in staying true to what we're gonna do. We're not gonna worry about that. Um, yeah. Zoe will be in every vlog from now on. She's been amazing. I bought this cup holder situation for the couch. Let me show you. I'll see if I can make her come over here. Come on, let's go. She is madly in love with these cup holders. Here's a picture. Here's another picture. Here's another picture of this cup holder fiasco. Baba! These cup holders, I don't even get to use them anymore. She just loves, loves, loves them. It's absolutely hilarious. But pats and cup holders. But she is so cute. I know, we love it. It's so cute. Yeah. Anyway, she's still around. When I go live, we do likes for treats. Do you want some treats? Yeah? Okay, let's go. You wanna get treats? Come on. Let's go. Yeah, I thought so. Ooh, hopefully you guys aren't getting dizzy. So likes for treats. I'll let you look out the window. Likes for treats is where I get likes and she gets treats when we are live. And since we're not live right now, she will just get treats. Right, Bubs? Say thanks, till next time. But anyway, I will come back again. We've got lots going on with this wedding coming up. So I'll be coming on to talk about all kinds of fun stuff, regular vlogs, weeks in the life, things like that, days in the life, whatnot. So until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun living life in a way that is true to you. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye guys.